Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm opening another Cafe Series 3. Let's see what's inside. I did use the pinhole hack to find the corn, the BLT, the things I'm missing, but uh, after I brought them home I didn't re-inspect them, so I'm not sure which one this is. We are about to find out. Okay, we got a board. Ooh, is this the butter? Or the butter, it says butter. The corn. Find all the important pieces. Herbs. Oh yeah. Look how cute that corn is. They have certain kernels that look charred. It's so realistic. Oh my gosh, we even have the little, what you call them? The things you stick in the ends of them to hold them. Oh my gosh, I love that. Very cool. I think that's it, except for the tongs, but let's open it. What else did we get? A fork? A knife? It's a knife. All right, let's build this one. Here's the grilled corn, and it looks like a really easy build. You put the holders in, add the resin, sprinkle it, cure it. So very easy gonna open all my stuff so that goes fairly quickly. This is one of the ones I wanted to see the most from this set. I open this and it is very runny. So definitely looks like melted butter. And might be a little tricky only because it's gonna roll. So unless you're using a light, a UV light, or you do one side at a time, which I might do. Maybe I'll just do, I guess maybe I'll just do one side. I don't know, I'm indecisive. But let's put these on first, because that is step one. Those are so cute. And a good idea, that way you don't have to touch the resin. So those go in very nicely, very easy, snug. And let me, I didn't see how long it said to cure it. I'm gonna double whatever it says though. It does say five to 10 minutes. That is probably not accurate. The new resin takes way longer to cure. Oh my gosh, look how buttery this is. This is making me hungry. I'll probably do a lot of the surface area. Probably even do two if you want it real buttery or if you want it to kind of run down the side. I could see that with how runny it is. But I like that you can still see the charred pieces through it. That's a really nice touch. I'm going to add more butter. I'm adding more butter down the side. And I'll probably stop it there. Now let's sprinkle. Oof, maybe that's too much. It might be. <laughs> I'm going to go cure that one and then do the next one. I kind of found a genius idea where I have this really thin styrofoam. And so I stuck it in there because they gave us those corn cob things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Um, that way I could set the whole thing outside. As long as it's not too windy and it won't blow away. It seems to be drying pretty decently. I was out there holding it and then I got tired of, it's kind of hot. So I got tired of doing that. I was like, you know what? Styrofoam. So let's butter this up and add spices to it. I think that's pretty good. Last time it came out really fast cause it's really fine. Kind of don't want that much on there. 
Maybe I'll just move really quickly and tap lightly just so there's not too much. That's probably okay. Well, all right, I'm going to stick these out there for probably at least 20 minutes just to make sure they're really cured. Okay, these sat outside for probably 20 minutes. I think they were cured way before that, but I like to make sure. That's all there is to it. See, they're a little, little rolly, but you just put them on here and you could put some butter at the bottom and cure it to the wooden cutting board, whatever you want to call that. And I think that would be cute as well. I'm going to leave mine disconnected from it. I typically do cure a lot of things together so they can't move, but um, this I think I will leave like that. I think it turned out really cute. Very easy build. Love that they added these. It would have been difficult if they didn't. I feel like I would have got resin all over my hand, which is not good. So if you'd like to order this set, I'll put some links below to Target and Walmart and all the fun places you can find them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.